the equation of the hyperbola can be written as 25 upon 144 times x square minus 25 upon 81 times y square is equal to 1. This can be written as x square divided by 144 divided by 25 minus y square divided by 81 divided by 25 is equal to 1. This can also be written as x square divided by 12 upon 5 whole square minus y square divided by 9 upon 5 whole square is equal to 1. Therefore, the length of the semi-major axis a dash is equal to 12 upon 5 and the length of the semi-minor axis b dash is equal to 9 upon 5. Now the eccentricity E dash of the hyperbola is given by the equation B dash square is equal to A dash square times in brackets E dash square minus 1. Putting in the values of A dash and B dash obtained earlier we get 81 upon 25 is equal to 144 divided by 25 times e dash square minus 1. This implies that e dash square is equal to 1 plus 81 divided by 144 which is equal to 225 divided by 144. Therefore e dash is equal to 15 upon 12 which simplifies to 5 upon 4. Now the equation of the ellipse is given as x square upon 16 plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. Therefore, the length of the semi-major axis A is equal to 4 and the length of the semi-minor axis is equal to B. The eccentricity of the ellipse E is given by the equation B square is equal to a square times in brackets 1 minus e square. Now we are given that the foci of the hyperbola and the foci of the ellipse coincide. This implies that a times e is equal to a dash times e dash. Plugging in the values of a, a dash and e dash we get 4e is equal to 12 upon 5 times 5 upon 4. The right hand side simplifies to be equal to 3. And therefore, the eccentricity of the ellipse E is equal to 3 upon 4. Using this, the value of b square which is equal to a square times 1 minus e square is equal to 16 times in brackets 1 minus 9 upon 16 which is equal to 16 times 7 upon 16 which simplifies to be equal to 7. Therefore to conclude the value of b square is equal to 7 which is the required answer.